This is an arthroscopic video of an ACL reconstruction using mid third patellar tendon. The medial compartment is shown. In this case, the medial meniscus is probed and no tear is noted. Attention is turned to the central part of the knee and the stump of the ACL is well visualized. The ACL runs from the femur to the tibia and in this case has torn completely. The remaining ACL fibers are resected. Electrocautery is used to facilitate removal of soft tissue and care is taken to protect the posterior cruciate ligament which sits behind the ACL. Additionally, bone is removed from the femoral condyle in an effort to create more space for the reconstruction. Here the notch plasty is complete, PCL fibers are noted on the right, resected bone on the left. The new graft will sit in this created space. Next the targeting device is used to create the tibial tunnel. A reamer will be introduced from the tibia and targeted toward the, towards the point of this guide. Initially, a pin is used to ensure adequate position. This is followed by reaming, and again, debris is removed. Once the tibial tunnel is created, the tension is then turned to creating a similar tunnel on the femoral side. A guide is inserted to help localize the femoral tunnel, and again a guide pin is placed prior to reaming. Once the femoral tunnel is reamed, the pre-prepared graft is placed through the tibial tunnel and into the femoral tunnel. This is the final position of the graft. It is next secured both proximally and distally with pin and screw fixation.